Welcome to SugarSync. Today we're going to talk about synchronization of files. I want to start by showing you how the synchronization works conceptually. Let's start with a basic scenario of backing up and synchronizing your data to SugarSync. Some people refer to this as cloud storage or backing up your data to the cloud. It just means that you're using the internet to store your data on a secure server. In this diagram, we see my home computer and SugarSync. Using SugarSync, I've already selected my desktop folder to be backed up. If I create or change a file in the desktop folder, a copy of the file is automatically uploaded to SugarSync. At this point, the file has been backed up and it is safe and secure. If I make a change to the document directly in my web-based SugarSync account, SugarSync will automatically synchronize the change back to my home computer. Changes are synchronized in both directions. Now let's look at the scenario of synchronizing files across multiple computers. The diagram now shows my work computer. Using SugarSync, I've already selected my documents folder to be backed up to SugarSync and I've also selected it to be synchronized between my work and home computers. If I save a document on my work computer, it is automatically uploaded to SugarSync. SugarSync also synchronizes a copy of the document to my home computer. And then if I go home and make another change to the document using my home computer, the change is automatically synchronized back to my work computer. Using SugarSync, I don't have to worry about emailing myself important documents or saving files to a thumb drive. SugarSync automatically synchronizes my data wherever I need it. Before I show you a demo, I want to show you how I have my account set up. I have three computers set up in my SugarSync account. I'm currently using my home MacBook Pro, but I also have a netbook and a work computer that are running Windows. SugarSync works on both Macs and PCs. Let's look at the column for my home computer. These are all folders that are backed up using SugarSync. There are two types. The lower section shows folders that are backed up and synchronized to SugarSync only. For example, my desktop folder is backed up to SugarSync. And this is the basic way of using SugarSync. The upper section shows folders that are backed up to SugarSync and are also synchronized to other computers. A good example is my documents folder. If you look closely, you'll see a line connecting my documents folder on my home computer with the same folder on my work computer. So anytime I make a change to a document in that folder, it's not only uploaded to SugarSync, but it's also synchronized to the other computer. Now let's see the synchronization in action. I'll start on my work computer. When I save a document to my documents folder, it is automatically backed up to SugarSync, plus it is synchronized to my work computer. Now the one thing I want to point out is that I didn't do anything special in SugarSync. All I did was create a document and save it. SugarSync handles everything else behind the scenes. The sync takes place in a matter of seconds, so we can immediately switch over to my home computer to see the new file in my documents folder. If I make a change, it will automatically get synchronized back to my work computer. And if I go back to my work computer, the change is already waiting for me. One last thing, each time the file is synced, it's also backed up to SugarSync. That allows me to log into my SugarSync account from any browser to get access to the file. So that's a quick overview of synchronization of files using SugarSync. In a separate tutorial, we'll show you how to set up your computers for backup and sync. I hope this helps and we'll see you next time.